How's it going everyone? It's Javi from Mother Storm Drop Thousand and in this video of course we're gonna talk more about this next Midwest snowstorm which is likely to happen at this point where some areas in the Midwest could experience over a foot of snow um, especially more towards the northeastern portion of the Midwest and we could see heavy snowfall where we could see up to six feet of snow in certain areas of the west coast especially the higher elevations of the Cascade Mountains and the Rocky Mountain region you need to pay very close attention to heavy snow and we're also going to talk about our next potentially significant severe weather threat that could impact areas such as Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas by next week. But before I begin, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content. So let's begin by taking a look at the GFS model um, precipitation forecast over the next several days. And we've had have um, a major difference with the GFS model forecast when it comes to this next uh, major snowstorm moving through the Midwest because now the GFS model is more, a lot more confident that there's going to be a significant snowstorm that's going to impact the Midwest where areas such as Nebraska, South Dakota, Minneapolis could get involved with some heavy snowfall as it's more likely at this point which is something that I predicted yesterday that the GFS model um, might more lean more towards what the European model is stating because the European model was the, the computer model that was initially correct well before the GFS model was and then over time the GFS model kept leaning more and more towards the European model scenario to a point where now they're pretty much almost Id completely identical identical at this time as now there's high confidence that we're going to see a heavy amount of snow move through the midwest as it seems like the snow precious and moving ashore is powerful enough um, to bring those strong northerly winds to create that unstable environment for a significant snowstorm to develop in the midwest we do see that the pressure that gfs model forecasts at this time is that the pressure would be around 993 millibars which is um which is um at least powerful enough to bring a heavy amount of snow throughout a large area and of course bring stronger northerly winds that would bring that arctic air for southward to interact with that very warm and moist air mass that's over the gulf of mexico at this time and as a result we should see this old pressure some form and there should be another chop that comes right behind this old pressure some that will pretty much be the trigger in creating that large area of snow throughout the midwest where we do see the snow will eventually move through colorado and then we will see the snow area increase as well as the overall precipitation area increase as well as the um the low pressure system become a little bit more organized relative to how organized a mid-latitude cyclone gets where we would see a bow echo where we'd see moisture on the eastern and the northwestern portion and then dry air filter in on on the southwestern portion which represents that this slow pressure system would be powerful as it moves into the midwest and we do see heavy snow especially the further northeastward you go where the um where um this area would experience the longest duration of snow as well as the at, as well as the low pressure system at its peak intensity by the time the low pressure system reaches the northeastern portion of um, Minnesota as well as Wisconsin and Michigan where we do see the pressure drop down to 990 millibars as this jet stream dips very far south to create that highly unstable environment and we of course have that possibility of severe weather further southward and take a look at what the European model is stating the European model is also agreeing that the same sort of scenario will occur where we will see this low pressure system continue to move eastward another low pressure system just to the south of it and we see a formidable low pressure system develop and um, become well organized relative to a mid-latitude cyclone and we see heavy snowfall impact a lot of the midwest where the european model is expecting an even stronger storm where the pressure drops down to 975 millibars and of course behind it we could see a significant arctic blast as well and very strong northwesterly winds associated with this so precious a man of course severe weather would be a little bit more likely in the european model scenario since there is a higher amount of lift and instability right around the southeastern portion of the united states now take a look at the snowfall 
forecasts um, for this next significant snowstorm. So if I were to continue to move forward, we do see that the Minneapolis area could experience 6 to 12 inches of snow. And right now, the forecast is right around 7 to 8 inches. This is equating um, 1 inch of precipitable rainfall to 10 inches of snow. Of course, that's not always accurate, um, especially since certain snowstorms do have a little bit more moisture per snowflake. But it, it will show the snowfall accumulation at least around the ballpark. So um, right around Minneapolis, you could experience around six to ten inches of snow which would be very significant and there is that possibility it could be more than that depending on how rapidly the solar pressure system intensifies and then if we were to move far southward omaha is pretty much right at the snowfall's doorstep right in between maybe the one the three inch category you need to pay close attention to it on this the track forecast will be key in determining how much snow you expect especially um, on the outside on the outer skirts of where the European model is expecting snowfall because even a 10 mile difference can make a big difference in terms of how much snowfall accumulation you, you receive because look at how stark the contrast is between the heavy snowfall and no snowfall at all. Just um, let's say you go maybe around 30 miles to the northwest you're experiencing nearly no snow but 30 miles south of that you're experiencing over six inches of snow so you need to pay close attention on the outer skirts because just because you might not necessarily be forecasted to receive snow there's still that possibility that the that um that the low pressure system could move a little bit first northward or southward than usual which would definitely make a big difference in terms of how much snow you receive so omaha you need to pay close attention to that and then you see throughout nebraska you should expect one to three inches based on what the european model is stating and the gfs model is also agreeing with this scenario at this point saying look at the gfs model as of the 18z run we do see that the gfs model now is confident we're going to see um, around one to three to three to six inches throughout um, Nebraska, South Dakota, and the extreme northwestern portion of Iowa, and then um, over six inches of snow, close like um, just like the European model, around eight inches of snow could be possible in Minneapolis. So the both of the computer models are very similar at this time. There's a high level of certainty at this time, so you need to prepare um, as if you're going to receive these snow totals if you're under. Um, the snowfall accumulation range um, based on what the GFS and the European model are saying because we see that the both the computer models are nearly completely identical at this time so the certainty is high of course there will be some very there could be some variations with the forecast um, between now and let's say three to four days um, from now there's still that's still a decent amount of time for there to be variations in the forecast but at this point it seems highly likely you will experience a significant get snow storm throughout the midwest and that we likely won't see any major variations with the forecasts such as um, for example there probably won't be a scenario where you won't experience snowfall out of this at all as um, if there's going to be any variations with the forecast it'll likely be um, minuscule when it comes to snowfall accumulation as um, outside of maybe if you're in the outskirts that's when you could maybe see major variations but if you're right in the center that's where you should be pretty certain that there there will be a significant snowstorm so make sure to prepare get those um, shovels get the snow plows ready because this is expected to be a pretty significant storm especially for the minneapolis metropolitan area as well so make sure to pay close attention to that and take a look further westward we do see that you could experience feet of snow in the higher elevations of the cascades and if i were to continue to move even forward there's going to be another chop that's going to move through where we could potentially see up to five to maybe six feet of snow in certain in areas um, potentially right around Oregon where you could experience close to five feet of snow um, over the next um, seven days um, and even the northern portion of California like saying the Sierra Mountain ranges you could experience heavy snowfall so it might be a good week for skiers um, as there's going to be a multitude of troughs moving through the United States that will allow for heavy snowfall to occur in the higher elevations of the Rockies and the Cascades as well as the Sierra Mountain ranges so we of course have this first trough that the same trough that will eventually bring that major Midwest snowstorm 
um, and the, um, later during the week. And then we have this other chop that's going to move first southward, which will bring California um, into the mix when it comes to snowfall and precipitation. And we could even see some snow in the lower elevations um, in the major cities, such as Portland, where the temperatures might be cold enough for, um, for you guys to receive some snowfall and maybe Seattle as well. So this won't only impact the areas in a higher elevation. So you need to pay close attention to that. And then we, of course, see another chalk move through that will impact California as well. So make sure to keep in mind of all these significant snowstorms. It's likely you will experience heavy snowfall in the higher elevations and potentially up to six feet in certain areas. So make sure to pay close attention to that. Now, let's take a look at the southeast where there is a possibility of some severe weather um, head into um, next week with, um, or um, going into this coming week where um, as of right now, we are seeing some severe weather right around southeast, pretty much right around the Alabama and Mississippi area. This old pressure system is continuing to move eastward. This was the same low pressure system that brought a heavy amount of snowfall throughout Texas, but it's finally I'm going to continue to move northeastward, but this next um, severe weather threat could be a little bit um, more significant because this slow pressure system will be um, will be more powerful and we're going to see a lot more instability associated with this slow pressure system thanks to the fact that this slow pressure system behind the slow pressure system we're going to see a major arctic blast strong northwesterly winds and a significant jet stream that that will continue to fuel this slow pressure system and fuel thunderstorm activities as a result of a constant level of instability that's going to be provided by the strong north northerly winds that will bring that arctic air for a southward into the southeast to interact with that very warm and moist environment that's located in the states surrounding the Gulf of Mexico. And um, while for this old pressure system we're seeing right now, that wasn't necessarily the case because this old pressure system was cut off from the jet stream. It was cut off from that unlimited supply of cold air that would provide a high level of instability in the, in the southeast. So, and while there was just a decent amount of cold air right around the core of this old pressure system it's not necessarily enough to bring that significant um severe weather threat. although there is severe weather threat, um associated with that low pressure system i expect this next old pressure system bring even more severe weather the potential for tornadoes is definitely going to be far more likely in this scenario we're going to need to see how far south it's jet stream dips to really determine that severe weather threat. but i'd say it's um, becoming increasingly likely at this point that by midweek um, this coming week, you should experience um, a significant severe weather. Taking a look at the convective available potential energy levels, you see that they become very high by the Tuesday to Wednesday time frame throughout Texas and Louisiana, which suddenly raises a concern of severe weather over the next several days. And the wind shear will be high as well. So make sure to be aware of that possibility of potentially large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes associated with on this potential severe weather threat. Now, take a look at the wind shear because that will play a big role in terms of your possibility of receiving tornadoes. So if I were to continue to move forward with the GFS model forecast, we do see that the wind shear will significantly increase by the time this trough moves through. And that could, of course, raise a concern of tornadoes. And it's a lot more significant than the wind shear we're seeing associated with this current low pressure system. So you need to pay close attention to that throughout Arkansas, Louisiana, Louisiana, Texas, as well as Mississippi, and potentially as far east as Alabama as well. So make sure to keep that in mind for this upcoming severe weather threat. Now, taking a look at the current radar, here's um, the current severe weather threat we're taking a look at right now. And we do see that now the thunderstorms are beginning to move into the Florida Panhandle. Mississippi is mostly out of the severe weather at this point, as this is a very elongated upper level low. We are seeing heavy rain right around um, Kansas and Missouri, but this shouldn't produce much more severe weather um, as the as a result of the lack of instability for the most part. So we should see the severe weather subside from here on out. Just make sure to watch out for that potential of flash flooding um, associated with some of these thunderstorms in Alabama and potentially um, Kansas and Missouri as well. Um, now, taking a look at the severe uh, convective um, outlook over the next several days, we ha have that slight chance of severe weather, um, especially close to the Gulf Coast, but we do see it subside um, into tomorrow and into Monday, but we're going to see the severe weather increase by the time we reach a Tuesday time frame, so we need to 
play um you need to pay very close attention to that um head into um this uh, midweek um or into tuesday and wednesday of this coming week um now taking a look at the north atlantic oscillation we're going to keep taking a look at this um over the next um few winter weather videos or pretty much the entirety of the winter season and we do see the forecast still remains the same that we're going to be in negative north atlantic oscillation phase so we should expect more jet stream dips and potentially snowstorms over the next month throughout the united states now taking a look at my forecast when it comes to this major midwest snowstorm um you do see that i'm expecting six to twelve inches of snow throughout um the southeastern portion of minneapolis the northern portion of wisconsin and potentially 12 to 24 inches right around the northern portion of michigan and um the northern portion of wisconsin three to six inches throughout nebraska and south dakota which is still significant and could cause havoc on the roadway so make sure to stay prepared and stay safe um this is going to happen during the middle of the work week so you want to make sure you make the right plans um, as a snowstorm begins to develop in your area so make sure to stay safe throughout the midwest and then taking a look at the west coast you could experience up to six feet in the areas shaded in red so if for skiers that might be great but also make sure to watch out if you're in the higher elevations and even the lower elevations of portland and seattle you could get um, involved with some snow over the next week so make sure to um, pay close attention to that as well and make sure to at least keep an eye on this next major severe weather threat that could happen this coming tuesday for southeast but anyways guys i think you guys for watching make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content and i hope you guys have a great day